All right, this is the fun thing about my channel. You never know what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm cooking, sometimes it's cars, and sometimes it's clothing related items. You know that I like to wear a lot of fancy shirts, and I had heard about this thing. This is called a steam closet. It's literally a little dry cleaner for your individual clothes that you can put in your bedroom or wherever. And this one's made by Samsung. There's basically two that are made out there, and if you're searching for this video, you know that there's the Samsung air dresser and then there's the LG. The LG look cool and I've seen it before, but it seems to be harder to get. It's on back order and it does this agitation thing with the clothes. The Samsung does something a little different. It actually blows air through your clothes with a special hanger. I thought that was kind of cool. This thing just got delivered from Amazon. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this for myself. We're gonna check this thing out, and I haven't seen too many comprehensive reviews of this thing in the US. It seems that these are mostly popular in Europe and Asia, India, and these other places. I don't know why more Americans aren't into having freshly steamed clothing. I am. We're gonna open this thing up, we're gonna check it out and see, is this thing really worth spending like a thousand bucks to steam your clothes? Let's find out. <laughs> Now, for first-time viewers of the channel, you're going to notice I got a lot of rock and roll memorabilia in my house. It's a long story. You can watch my other videos to learn more about it. But Amazon dropped this thing off, and they do in-the-door delivery, meaning they put it in the door. This thing is about the size of, like, a refrigerator if you cut it in half. Um, and we're going to open it. And so uh, this wasn't meant to be an unboxing video, but how do you... It says cut along this line. Really? Good grief. Okay. Ah, this is the difference between the Samsung and the LG. The Samsung has these hollow hangers. When you put your shirt, your suit, your dress, whatever on there, it blows the hot steamy air down inside the clothes. Whereas the LG version has this little locomotion uh, thing where it just agitates them this way. To me, I can already picture that thing's gonna be making noise. You're gonna hear the thing in there going uh, this thing is, I like the idea of blowing the steam through the inside of the clothing where you're sweating and where you're wearing the clothes. And so they have these proprietary hangers and this unit comes as a three unit piece or a five unit piece. I don't need the five. I'm not doing a week's worth of clothes every time I got to do this. Three is more than enough. More than likely I only put in one at a time. So there's really no need to have one that's this much bigger that's holding five suits or shirts. Now, uh, it has these two tanks, one that holds fresh water and the other that is the collection of the water. Um, and you plug it in, it doesn't use much power. And at the same time, this new design, the original design and the way the LG has, it has these controls right on the face. I don't like that. You're touching the mirror or the, the plastic or whatever. They've moved the controls over here with a little screen and now you have a nice mirror you can see the other, you know, you probably see yourself in there. It's kind of a darkened black tinted mirror, but it's still a mirror nonetheless. And hey, anytime you can get an extra full size mirror so that you can admire how awesome this stuff is. See, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get it. <clears throat> they offer, I think, a concierge install service, but I have a dolly. Hello, dolly. There we go. There we go. That's a girl. There we go. All right. And now we're moving. And now we're moving. Watch out for the guitars. The guitars are fit. Okay. Okay, when I was moving this thing, I guess the microphone got turned off and uh, I didn't record any audio. So just overdubbing this thing. I finally got this thing pushed into the closet and it 
damn near fell off the dolly and fell face forward, and somehow I managed to catch it. I don't know how I did that. It has these feet on the bottom, which makes it really difficult to push it in place when it's on carpet. So I managed to muscle into the spot where I wanted it, right next to a plug, and began unpacking it and getting the stuff out of it. Down below, you'll see that one of the things they want you to install is this little drip tray that mounts there because they're expecting condensation to build up around the door and maybe drip out the bottom. Uh, I ended up not putting this in because it just wouldn't fit with the carpet, but you may need that you, uh, you might need to use that thing. For right now, I'm going to try it without it. So we'll get everything set up and we'll run it through a few cycles. All right, so we had a major problem with the video. I shot a whole bunch of stuff. You know, we moved the thing in here, I set it up, we did a bunch of tests, and it turned out my microphone wasn't working, and I didn't find out till later. So I'm having to reshoot some of this, so I'll cut in with some of the things that we did earlier, move in it, put it into place. But basically, you know, I got the thing put into place, we got it plugged in, figured out a few things about it. Um, we figured out that it uses about 1300 watts of power. I noticed on the label it talks about using a refrigerant 134, so I think it's using a reverse heat pump type technology as the heating element and also to dehumidify once it's dry. So they probably uses the steam and then dehumidifies and dries that way, and that's how it's recollecting the water and depositing in the tank. I've run it through a couple of cycles and it uses up the water pretty quickly. I find that to be pretty irritating because it doesn't hold very much water and you have to keep putting water in it. So you're gonna wanna keep water handy uh, maybe buy gallon jugs of distilled water or have a water uh, treatment thing like that zero water filter that I have because you're going to have to be constantly putting water in the thing and emptying the water. I ran it through a quick 24 minute cycle and it really didn't do much and then I did it on a daily refresh 45 minute cycle and I gotta say it really didn't do much. I wasn't really impressed. What I found is if you put it on its sanitize function, which takes a couple of hours, it really seems to give some results. So I got a couple of these shirts like the one I'm wearing, brand new out of the package. They were all watered up from being shipped and they were brand new cotton shirts and we stuck them in there and, uh, and so they turned out pretty good. So I'm just now checking it. So you can see, you know, it's, it's got a, a, a nice, nice uh, you know, it's, it gets out the wrinkles. I had it on what's called Keep Fresh. Uh, which keeps it warm. So I think the shirt turned out really good. I mean, you're only gonna get so much. It is a brand new shirt and it hasn't been washed, but I had several of these that I did and um, I was happy with how they came out. The one that I'm wearing now is uh, one that I took out this morning, but you know, just, you know, it, they, it's a brand new shirt, so it's gonna have creases and wrinkles, but it, it got, and that's, it's pretty nice and flat there, you know? And uh, of course it has, has absolutely no smell, but, um, when I take these out of the package, they do have a little bit of a chemical smell to them, you know, because they're freshly manufactured and unwashed. I also put in some other shirts. Let's see. This is uh, one of my Robert Graham shirts. And like I said, I, I, I st there's still a little bit of wrinkles here. There's actually a lot of wrinkles. It doesn't seem to really get out those kind of wrinkles the way I thought it would. I mean, this is, I mean, it looks great though. So I've never actually washed this shirt. This is a Robert Graham special edition limited shirt. You know, it's, uh, it's got a lot of like adornments and applique. You've got these little jewels on there. You've got a tie dye thing. You've got a lot of different kinds of fabrics on here. I just don't trust putting this thing uh, into a dry cleaner. Uh, this shirt, this is about a four or $500 limited edition shirt. And I have several of these and, and I just don't wanna run it through a machine even through dry cleaning, because for one thing, I'm worried about them losing it. I'm worried about it getting stolen. I'm worried about something happening to these and the shirt's just not replaceable. You cannot get another one. Let me hang this up. I think it looks good though. You know, it's like, these are shirts that I wear and like, you know, I live in Las Vegas, it gets hot. I usually wear this over one of these shirts. So it doesn't, uh, other than the arms, it's not in direct contact with my skin and I don't sweat a lot and I don't really, I don't smell a lot, but there's situations where maybe you go into one of the casinos here and you're around a lot of smoke. So you got people smoking and gambling and everything and then your nice shirt doesn't smell good when you get home. So running it through the sanitize function, it doesn't seem to get out all of the wrinkles and I'm not somebody who's ironing. I'm not gonna iron this shirt. I don't even 
think I own an iron, and if I do, I don't know where it is. So that was the whole idea of buying this thing. Is this is this thousand dollar half a refrigerator really worth the money? Ah, uh, not sure. The thing is, is if you're going to buy something like this and put five hundred dollar shirts in it, you can afford it, I guess. And I guess that's how they look at it too. This is another limited edition Robert Graham shirt. I mean, look at this thing. You know, you've got embroidery, you got all kinds of things, but like it doesn't wash the shirt. There's no washing going on. It's just steaming it and then drying it. I mean, you know, I was really hoping to see these wrinkles gone. I would have thought that it would have got those wrinkles out and I don't want to put it under a lot of high heat because I don't know how it'll affect this thing. I mean, when you look at the tag, you read the tag of this thing and it says here, 100% cotton, um, dry clean only. You know, I, I don't know how I feel, but you know, I don't really trust taking this thing to the dry cleaners. Uh, you know, probably at least once or twice, once in a while, I'm gonna have to do it. Let's check our consumption here. It, it, there's still some water in there, so I got another cycle uh, or so, but yeah, it's a really small little tank and you have to keep filling this thing up. Now here's the waste tank or the recollection tank. And I gotta tell you, the water looks exactly the same as the water that came out of it. It's not dirty in any way. So there's no kind of cleaning going on here. Let's check out this lint filter. Lint filter is absolutely clean. Um, there's no lint. So I'm not sure what all this thing is doing. I did download the Samsung Smart Things app to see if there was any kind of additional features I could find. I mean, there's a few little things in there, but honestly, you really don't need the app. It just annoys you. It will like send you a message to tell you that your clothes are done. I don't really need that. Okay, one of the features it has is fur and leather. I could see how this could be helpful because when you have fur, whether real or synthetic, uh, leather and different other kinds of outfits, I could see that something like this could get funky really fast. So let's say you've got a nice Angora sweater or you got something crazy like this and you get in a situation where it gets a little wet or it gets a little funky or a little moldy or a little musty or a little whatever, uh, this isn't something that you can wash, all right? You would definitely ruin this. It does have a fur section for keeping your furs or your synthetic furs fluffy and fuzzy, and I think that's really cool. So if you're in a situation where you have some kind of a fluffy kind of an outfit like this and you need to keep it fresh, this might be for you. Okay, let's say that you have to dress professional for your job, but you're in a not so clean environment. What do I mean by that? Well, out here in Las Vegas, you might work in one of the casinos, an area where people are smoking and you're required to look professional and to wear a suit. Now, if you're wearing a nice Armani jacket like this one, you're a pit boss, you're a dealer or whatever, you, you work in a situation where people are smoking or it's smelly, this isn't something you're gonna wash or dry clean every time. What's great about having something like this is if you do work in that kind of environment, you can come home, take off this suit jacket, and there is a section devoted just for cleaning suits. They also have a section for school uniforms, nurses' uniforms, and workwear. Now, you know, I work on cars and things like that, so sometimes I'm in situations where I'm gonna get all greasy and smelly. I don't think that that's the kind of stuff you wanna put in here. But when you're using the sanitizing function, I do wanna try it out. I'm gonna take one of my nice jackets, like this one here, and maybe go to one of the other smelly casinos and see if I can get it all smoky and smelly. Bring it home, put it in here, and see if it makes a change. But, sorry about that, uh, that's one of the strong points of uh, this unit. Um, I think it'd be great for uh, uniforms, but you know, generally, like I, people that wear scrubs, <clears throat> pardon me, I think if you're wearing scrubs, you're going to be washing them. You're not going to be just steaming them. I think, I think you're going to probably clean those and wash them. But a lot of times school uniforms and things like that, they can be very elaborate, especially with like religious schools and things like that, 
where you've got like a vest, you've got a shirt, you have a tie, and um, you might want to clean those. If you're living in a really wet environment, the opposite of Vegas, maybe you're living up in Seattle or somewhere where it rains a lot or it's snowy, you come in and your jacket is getting wet, your clothes are getting kind of funky, it has this drying function, you come in out of the wet and the muck, and you know, you're not gonna be uh, washing or dry cleaning those kind of, uh, especially like uh, these jackets that are made out of this fluffy plastic kind of stuff and they get wet. You don't want them to get musty and moldy, especially when you live in a humid environment. That would be a great place for the de dehumidification. And that's, I think, why this thing is using the refrigerant as uh, with a reverse heat pump si situation to dehumidify your clothes uh, instead of just using heat because you have to be able to capture that steam. If you just put heat in here, you're just going to be steaming like a sauna. But if you have a jacket, like for instance, this one, this, this might be a good candidate. I've had this jacket for a long time. Got this from like Wilson Leather probably 20 something years ago. It's a heavy duty leather jacket with uh, this internal thing. This might be a good candidate for putting in there. But then when you have other kind of crazy fabrics, uh, let me look around for some other examples. Like for instance, this is a jacket from a company called Shrine which is a tapestry, you got a lot of embroidery. It's a sort of a Renaissance style, Dracula style coat. And this is a really expensive coat. And this is not something I would wanna dry clean. I guarantee you that the instructions simply just say to dry clean it. Let's see, this is uh, dry clean only. It's made of polyester and some rayon and some other things. So this isn't something that you would want to wash or dry clean. I mean, obviously you have to dry clean it, but I think it could be freshed up really easily using the machine. Okay, so what is the conclusion with this thing? Is it worth a thousand bucks? And should you get the Samsung or should you get the LG unit? The LG unit I saw was about the same price, actually a little cheaper. Instead of having air blow through these little hangers uh, th through the way this is designed, it has an agitation where it just shakes your shirts around. The LG also has a uh, press for, you could put your pants here and it, I guess it pleats them, it'll put a cleat in. Who does that? No one wears that anymore. Um, so it had some advantages, but some of the disadvantages I found with it was uh, like the older version of this, this touch screen was right on the glass. I don't like that. I like how they've added these touch screen controls here to the side giving you a nice full length mirror. Um, the Samsung unit is different than the LG in a few ways. I noticed the door opens this way. I think the LG opens the other way. I don't know if that matters. Um, I wish it held more water. Uh, that would be great if I didn't have to fill that up all the time because you don't generally have necessarily water handy. Um, they do make a larger version that holds five garments. You don't need that. Uh, that's not really necessary. It seems like it's fairly well made, but it's made exactly like one of the refrigerators. If you've owned a Samsung refrigerator, same exact interior and lighting and hinges and everything. They, they just reused some of their refrigerator stuff and put it on this thing. The refresh and the daily care, I don't think really does much. I think unless you're using the sanitize, it seems to me, doesn't seem to really do anything. I think the drying function would be good. So you have to ask yourself, um, I think unless you are trying to deodorize and sanitize your clothes or trying to dry them, I don't think this thing is really needed. I'm kind of half tempted to send it back myself. I'm wondering how far I really need it. I'm gonna keep it for a little while and try it. I don't generally wear my suit jackets that often. I do wear my, uh, my dress shirts, my fancy dress shirts, my Robert Grahams and these other shirts. And these are three, four, five hundred, some of them six hundred dollar shirts, silk shirts. And I do like to wear those out. I'll be putting one on and, and I usually douche that thing down with cologne and go out. And I like the idea of being able to freshen it up, especially here living in Las Vegas. You know, the crazy thing about living in the desert is when you're out in the hot sun, you want to wear a long sleeve shirt. You may not think so, and it's 120 degrees, but a nice white shirt keeps the sun off of you, and keeping the sun off of you is the real trick. And I bring that up because, you know, you're gonna sweat, and, um, you know, I think that the idea of being able to refresh uh, your shirts and things is great. I haven't thought about it, but, you know, maybe uh, 
I don't know if there's a shoe function, but sometimes your shoes get a little funky you want to put them in there. Even your hats, you know, sometimes your hats get a little funky. It doesn't wash. It doesn't replace a dry cleaner. It doesn't replace washing in any way. But it does dry. And where that could be helpful is when you have some delicate clothing or some of these other clothing, you know, it might be okay uh, to hand wash them to get them wet, maybe even you know, take it into the shower with some of these things and rinse them off. And then rather than hang it up to dry, you put it in here and have this unit dry it. Because the way it dries isn't just through heat, but through dehumidification, absorbing the water and then depositing it into the drop tank. So, hey, I really can't say. You're going to have to figure that out for yourself. First of all, if you're the kind of person who can afford to buy a $1,000 steam closet uh, to put your clothes in, if it is something that you're interested in, of course, I'm going to have an affiliate Amazon link in the description so you can order the exact same one that you see here directly through my link. Um, I've seen some other people have it. You, there's not a lot of information about these things here in the U.S. For some reason, they seem to be really popular in Asia and India and these other places. And I think it's because one of the selling points that they're trying to push the most is their sanitation. There's even a mask sanitation mode on this thing. Their idea is you're going to come in from out of the city, you're covered in COVID, you put your clothes in there and it's going to sanitize them. Maybe there's some merit to that. That's not why I bought it. I bought it because I really just want to make my clothes wrinkle free. And I will say I was happy with the results of these shirts, you know, because here's this is a brand new shirt that I've just took out of the package and I ran through the sanitize function, which was about two hours. Shirt looks perfect. I mean, you know, it almost looks ironed, right? In contrast to that, let's look at one that I would have gotten out of the washing machine and out of the dryer, right? So here's one. That's what it looks like when I normally walk around, right? It's wrinkly, comes out of the dryer. That's how it looks. Not so bueno, right? But I gotta say, I've been wearing these shirts for like 20 something years. You've always seen me wearing them. Nobody's ever come up to me and they're like, Bob, uh, your shirts are wrinkly, right? You need to do something about this. Can somebody iron your shirts? So does it matter? I don't even know. So this is a shirt that I ran through the machine last night, put it on, I've been wearing it today. And uh, you know, you do get some wrinkles just from, you know, wearing it, but uh, it looks nice and clean. It's fresh, it smells good. Um, you could, it has a denim function for putting your jeans in there. Also, this is really good for children's toys. If you have kids and they have stuffed animals, it's got like a stuffed animal toy function. Put your pillow in there. Uh, all these different things, anything you can fit in there. So I'm going to try to, maybe I'll follow up and maybe I'll do another video of this in the future. Uh, I want to, because I've really only had it for less than 24 hours now and I've ran it through four or five different cycles. So I'm still experimenting with it and maybe I just haven't, got all of the uh, functionality out of it that I want. But I, I can tell you I was disappointed with its uh, quick and daily care functions. They didn't seem to do anything. The shirts that I put in there, I saw no difference. I really didn't. It has what's called a keep fresh function after you run it through a cycle. And the keep fresh just keeps it nice and warm. I thought to myself, hey, this drying thing, I'd love to put my towels in there before I take a shower and pull a nice steamy, hot, fresh towel out. Now that would be good. Use it as a towel warmer. There's just other little things. So if you have the space to put this thing, it doesn't take up much space. Plus you get a full length mirror out of the deal. That's probably worth a hundred bucks, right? So um, I like the design of it. No complaints there. It seems to be fairly well built. It's about the right size you need it to be. Um, you know, depending on who you're talking to, there's some of you watching out there going, Bob, I don't make that much money. I would never spend a thousand dollars on a on a refrigerator to put to put in my closet. I don't have your closet is bigger than my apartment. Um, but for some of my viewers that watch because they're interested in some of the luxury things that I'm interested in, and you're somebody who has these kind of clothing, maybe this is something that's for you. I saw our buddy Rob uh, Freddy who has uh, super speeders. He bought the LG version. Again, I, I don't know if I like the agitation version. I'd like to try it out, but you can't, I, I don't think you can buy these in the store. At least I haven't seen one of these anywhere. Maybe they got them at a Best Buy or something, but I have never seen one of these in person. You got to order it in line. That's why I wanted to make the video for you. So I think we've covered everything there is to cover. There's really not much to it. It's a pretty simple thing. Put your suit, put your shirt jacket in there, steam it, and it'll come out all fresh and nice. 
I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. I, um, like I said, maybe I'll do another more comprehensive video in the future. I think I talked about this thing all that we possibly can. So thanks for tuning in, checking it out. I know that this is not the normal kind of video that I normally do, but that's what this channel is all about. Hey, if you're interested in stuff like this and you thought this was fun, go down to my link down below and you buy one. And hey, maybe subscribe and check out some of the other videos. Sometimes we're working on our cars. Sometimes we're cooking. Sometimes we're traveling. Sometimes I'm putting a steamer thing in my closet. You never know. So thanks for watching. I'm Video Bob. Mm-hmm.